Good morning everyone. Today we are doing a new topic from our plus two computer science labors that is file handling. Let me introduce you first what this topic is all about. First of all, we have done the programming in Python in class plus one and so far all the programs take input from the keyboard and print the output on the screen which is a very good thing because we have known how to control keyboard inputs and also manipulate them and then print the output back to screen but the major drawback in that program is that nothing is permanently saved on your disk that means so far our programs are not able to remind or remember what they have done last time and in the modern world you already know that programs must save data to the hard drive or any other storage device for example a word processor like ms word or libreoffice writer you want to type in that and you want to save it to your hard drive so that next time you can open and resume your work so far our python programs are not able to store their outputs into a file on a hard drive so today we will learn that python programs can store data in a permanent file on a storage device and storage device which we access these days will be hard drive hard drive for your information is a device which is attached inside your computer where all the data is permanently stored it can be a solid state drive as well so your program will work for both ssd and HDD. So let's begin. As you can see on the screen, I have already created a program for you. Let's dissect it one by one. Line number one. F is equal to open abc.txtw. Now, before I explain this line to you, I want to explain that in all other languages, we need a special module or library which help us to store data into files and also read data from the files. I repeat my statement, please listen it carefully. In other languages, unlike Python, we need extra modules and libraries to make our programs following two functionalities number one reading data from the program and storing it to the file on the hard drive and the second thing is reading the data from the file which is stored on a hard drive to your program so in simple words what we are doing right now before file handling that our program read values from the keyboard store it to a variable then use it in inside the program and then print the output on the screen now what I am saying our programs will be able to do after file handling our programs can read values from a file which is stored on a hard drive instead of a keyboard and bring it to the program where you can manipulate and print it on the screen the second functionality which will be introduced into our programs after file handling is that our programs can take input from a keyboard write it to the file which is stored on a hard drive so our programs can read data from the files to the program and can read and can write the data from the program to the file I repeat by file I mean a file a physical file stored on hard drive permanently okay so let's begin with the first statement which is f equals to open abc.txt comma w so we can see four things here one is f second is open third is abc.txt and the last one is w so what are they open 
open is a function or an inbuilt function into a python which can connect your pro python programs with physical files stored on hard drive open function required two arguments the first argument is the name of the file in which you want to write or read and w is a mode in which you want open function to connect your program to the file stored on a physical hard drive like abc.txt in this program for example is a file to which open function will connect our program but in which mode we can connect or a open function can connect our program to the text files in three modes first one is w which is write mode which means we can our program can write from the program to the file second one is r which means our program can read from the file to the program the third one is a which means append append means we can add data to a existing file i will explain you r and a later in this program so repeat open is an inbuilt python function which is used to connect text files with our program it take two arguments first one is the name of the file which you want to connect second one is a mode which i have already explained to you and f is an automatically becomes a object who has all the capabilities of open okay next one is a simple loop for i in range 10 means this loop will run 10 times can run it as many times but i am running 10 times in this program for a particular example next important things about file handling is write function so f is an object of file handling module which is an inbuilt to python so uh we say f the only of object dot and we call write function for f write function for f okay so write function is used to write data from the program to the file i repeat for the from the program to the file so what in this particular example write is writing to the file from the program is first a string this is line and then these are escape sequences Add a return new line and remove this one also. We say new line and this person D will insert the value of i plus one in place of percent D. We have a range of this loop from zero to nine, and I want to store data like this in my file. This is line number one. This is line two. This is line three. and there will be a this this each line will be written in a different line so i want to press enter after every line so what i have done this is line okay this string will write down as it is this is line then space and then percent d percent d means this is a decimal this is an integer value which i want to insert here so whatever the value of i in the beginning is that it will be 1 because 0 plus 1 is 1 Will insert it here, so it will be read as this is line one, and then slash n, or this is backslash n. It will insert a new line, or as you press enter in a writer file. So this is percent d slash nine means this is line, and instead of percent a d, please insert the value of i plus one and slash n to insert a new line. So this loop will run ten times. This output will be given to me as ten times, and then we say f dot close. 
we'll come back this to later first we see that if we run this program without file handling what will be the output then it will be easy to understand for you that what type of data is going to be right into the file so just making a duplicate of it you say fh copy dot py so we remove all the content of this file f dot write and instead of f write we say print and then we also remove this line so we have removed everything which related to file and this program just to see that how this program looks in a terminal so here we run the program without file handling and you can see the output this is line number one this is line number two guys this is line number three four five six and then I just want to give you an idea that this how this is happening this is line is a string percentage D and it will add this the value of I plus one here slash n will enter a new line so this is line one enter this is line percentage D's value is 2 now enter and so on up to 10 I hope this is clear to you okay so let's come back to our program now you understand that when I run this program a new file called abc.txt will be created on the hard drive and the output of this for will be turned into that program and for your in just a recap that this is the data from this line 1 to this line 10 will be written into the file now and if we run this program there will be nothing printing on the screen because we have not used a print statement in this program so let's run it and then see first of all I want to tell you that uh, abc.txt is not created in my computer so far and where you can find this file after it is being created in the same folder where you have saved your this py file this program file I have saved this program in this folder and you can see uh, I have a program called fh.py which we are working on and there is no file called abc.txt so please note down of this fact we come to this later so now let's run this program the program name is fh so python fh.py and we say run it so see no error this program execution is successfully but there is no output because there is no print statement so let's go back to that folder where we have saved this program and you can see now we have abc.txt stored over here okay fine now what is written inside this abc.txt file so this is a txt file it can be opened with any text editor like gedit on linux and uh, notepad on windows and text edit on this mac computer so if double click on this and this text edit show me the output this is the content of a file right i hope you understand this concept and as a recap we add another feature to it now our program has written into the file from the program so why not our program read this file back to us and put it on the screen for that we need to add few more lines of code and before adding that I want to explain you about this line this is f dot close f dot close means our program will be detached from this abc.txt after this statement this statement is same when you press this close button on the screen so after close run so whatever that window running the software and whatever like ms word writer anything it is now disconnected from all type of data files which it was connected earlier if any so whenever i run the next version you can see that i will have a new copy and the program is not remembering anything okay so basic thing is that whenever you open a program means whenever you connect a data file to your program 
before leaving please close it by adding this statement okay otherwise it will be treated as an improper shutdown and operating system will handle it in such a way which is not a good thing which will cost you data okay back to the program now what we are trying to do is that we are now having another task to reading contents or ability.txt from the file to the program so let's start okay so this statement is same we copy it and paste it f is equal to open ability.txt but now we want to open it in r mode okay so now the data is being read from the file so the function will be read lines instead of write so we want to read whole file into one object we say f1 for example is equal to and from where we want to read from f object which is used with open f dot read f dot read lines that is the function okay so this function is an alternative function of write write is used to write data from program to file and read lines is used to read data from file to the program so okay now we put a loop here for i let's copy this from here it will save our time we will make changes to it okay for i in f1 okay because f1 has all the lines read from the file which is connected to an f object which use open function so we say f1 we just need to print i okay and don't forget to close after reading the file first we run it see if it runs then i'll explain to you how it works okay so the files contents was this first of all a file was created and then it read back to the file so abc.txt was connected in in read mode by open and all powers were given to f object then f called read line functions and give all the data all these 10 lines to f1 and then we put an f1 is sort an an object reference so if we put a loop on that then we read everything from f1 into i and then print i in each step we get this type of output i hope you understand this now the question arises in your mind that uh, we are talking about permanent storage but this program has created file now in this run and then read that file in the same one so what is the permanent one if every time we need to write file and if every time we need to read file the good thing is that the file is permanent stored on the hard drive so if i don't create a file by writing data into it is my program still able to read that file let's see so remove that code only read and you can see it is running perfectly fine because abc.txt is permanently stored on the hard drive and this program or any other program who can connect with it in read mode can read it without any problem so this is how write and read mode works with files in python now last topic for today is what is append mode as name suggests append will add more data to a existing file we have seen in this program and must be noticed that abc.txt was not existing before i run this program for the first time so abc.txt was a new name for open function and what open function does before connecting with uh, our program to abc.txt it find out there is no abc.txt so it created a new one and then connect with it with us okay but you must be wondering that there is a huge problem with this approach Let's back come back to the program. Like, I open up bc dot txt and I can remove this in a text editor and write where this is my file. 
and save it and close it now I open it again this is my file and if I open it in read mode only you can see that here and I run the program so I open this program and I run it it show me only one file this is my file instead of this one because this is permanently stored by me okay now the dangerous thing is this I open abc.txt which is now already existing in the system so what will happen if the file we want to connect in write mode already exists because we know if it already does not exist already then it will create a new one open function create a new one but what happens if that file already exists in the system and what, be, what will be the effect on that file let's see so I run this program and again old data so this is a big danger what has happened that open function found that abc.txt abc already exists so instead of creating it new it deleted all of its old data and started from a uh, fresh and add the new data so what the dangerous thing is we lost our previous data permanently imagine you have an ms word or LibreOffice writer file you've typed three pages in it next time you open that file to add more things obviously you open it in write mode you find out that all three pages have been gone and you have to start from a new file from a line first in the same file that's a huge problem so we cannot use w freehandly like this because it will delete our old data without any warning so here comes the new thing to make it more clear let's run it with w first okay same file we run it like this with w and we're running and we see that the old contents of the file has been washed away and new content that is from lambda 20 counting is added to the file now we're running the same program with a and now we add more values to it like 21 now we run the program you can see it retain its old value 11 12 13 14 20 and from 21 to 30 it has added it has got new values so i hope you understand the difference between w and a so let's a quick recap we have done today file handling and we have done four inbuilt functions related to file handling open write read lines and close and we have discussed about three modes a r and the third one is w okay so hope you understand this and will practice this one thank you see you next time